Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, we will solve problem 2.19. The statement of problem is that both portion of rod A, B, C are made up of aluminium. So these are this is rod A, B, C, and this is there are two portion A, B, and B, C, and they are made of made up of, of aluminium. And uh, the modulus of elasticity, elasticity that is given as E is 70 into 10 raise power 9 Pascal. Knowing that the magnitude of P is 4 kilonewton. So this P is 4 kilonewton. That is 4 into 10 raise to power 3 newton. This force P that is 4 kilonewton. Clear? Determine the value of Q so that deflection at point A is 0. So you have there are two forces P and Q so you have to determine the value of Q you have to find Q for which Q for which deflection at A is equal to deflection at A is equal to 0 so you have to find Q which correspond to zero deflection at this point. And the second part is you have to find the corresponding deflection at point B. So you have to find deflection at point B. So let's start with its solution. There are many things also given such as diameter of A, B is 20 millimeter, diameter of B, C is 60 millimeter length of AC is 0 0.4 and length of BC is 0 0.5 so we will see it in the problem uh, so you have to find this stress uh, force Q so for that we, ha we have to find the stresses and in stress you know that stress is equal to force per unit area so again we will first find the area so let's start with area of AB so area of AB is equal to pi by 4 dAB square which is equal to pi by 4 D of AB is 20 millimeter so def definitely that is 0 0.0 0, 0 0.020 0 whole square that will give you 314.16 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now for diameter of area of BC that is again equal to pi by 4 d b c square which is equal to pi by 4 and the diameter is 60 millimeter so that is 0 0.060 whole square and it's give you 2.87 2.827 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now we will count the forces in members a b and b c so let's start with forces force in member a b force in member a b now you can see from the figure that a b is this portion so it is in tension because p is upward and q is downward so total change in length of a b that will be equal to P into LAB over area of AB into E. E is same for all. So we will put the values over here. So P is also given that is 4 into 10 to the power 3. Length is given that is 0.4 meter. And area is given as 3. 14.16 into 10 to the power minus 6 and E is 70 gigapascal. So that is 70 into 10 to the power 9 gigapascal. So deflection in AB comes out to be 72.75 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter. Now we will go to force in member BC force in member B 
BC. Now you can see that member BC is in compression because this force is in downward and the reaction force will be like that. So BC is in compression. So total load, total load uh, in BC is total force, sorry, total force will be equal to Q minus P because the net force acting is Q minus P and deflection in BC is equal to force that is total force that is Q minus P into L of BC divided by area of BC into E. So again this will be equal to Q minus P into length is uh, 0.5 meter area is calculated as 2.8 to 7 into 10 is power minus 6 and E is 70 into 10 is power 9 Pascal there so when you calculate it the change in length of BC will be equal to Q minus P times 2.526 into 10 is power minus 9 now we have calculated uh, the change in length in AB and change in length BC. So you, for 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 finding Q, for finding the value of Q at point A deflection is equal to zero. So what we will do at if you need deflection at point A is equal to 0 so you have to equate change in length of AB is equal to change in length of BC for for what for 0 deflection at A clear so if you equate equate this equation so sigma AB which was 72.75 72.75 into 10 raised to power minus 6 is equal to Q minus P into 2.526 into 10 raised to power minus 9. So if you solve this that, that Q minus P will comes out to be 28.8 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton. There also we have the value of P. So Q will be equal to P plus 28.8 into 10 raised to power 3. So P is 4 kilo Newton 4 into 10 raised to power 3 plus 28.8 into 10 raised to power 3 so the final value of Q will be equal to 32.8 into 10 raised to power 3 or 32.8 kilo Newton so this will be the value of Q this much load when applied at point B it will give you zero deflection at A. Now the second part is that you have to find the deflection at point sorry deflection not sigma deflection at point B. So as you know that uh, deflection at point B is basically equal to deflection in AB clear so deflection in AB was 72.75 72.75 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter so um, also it is equal to sigma BC because for we in, in part 1 we get sigma AB is equal to sigma BC for finding value of Q so definitely change in length of BC will be also equal to that. So finally we have also find deflection at point B which is 
seven five into ten is to power minus into ten is to power minus six meter or it is equal to deflection at point B is equal to zero point zero seven two eight millimeter. So this was all about problem two point nineteen. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe it and share it.